I spent one month in the United States um, doing what I had to do and had to deal with snow, of all things. Um, it's not too unusual, even though Arkansas doesn't usually get much snow, at least not in the central part of the state. But it just happened to snow while I was there. And it was kind of nice, but at the same time, it wasn't because my body's not used to the snow anymore. So here is uh, where I was staying and the snow falling. And here is all the snow that we got. It wasn't much, but it was enough to make me not be able to drive, which made me have to leave. Hello, sexy girl. Here is nice. Look at the sky. Oh, so beautiful, the sunset. Beautiful day. Mm, show you how beautiful it's here. On the way back, I had a flat tire in Temple, Texas. Here are some guys fixing my tire for me. It was a long way. While I was going toward Laredo, Gabriel was leaving and going toward to meet me in Nuevo Laredo. So he was, we were both going in the same direction from opposite directions. I love this little room. It's so, so tiny. But it's very cute. But also it's like the hotels that I used to work at where it's outside like this so I can have the car right next to me. Because it is, seems to be in a little, like a bad area. But it's a nice little hotel. It's even dirt on the thing, but that's okay. I get to rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. It took 14 hours for me to drive from where I was in Arkansas to Laredo, Texas. Uh, and I can't see to drive at night, so I had to stay in a hotel. But the long drive wasn't nearly as bad for me as it was for Gabriel, who had to take several buses over a two-day period of time. Hi, baby. Uh, I am in Monterey, so I'm going to be there probably around like three, three to four hours. Okay, so I let you know soon we will meet. Okay, so so it's probably four thirty. So I will be there like seven thirty. Okay, see you in a little time. Okay, baby. After a really long month, we were finally reunited at the border, and off to home we were. back 
from the border. Yes, it's very, very cold. On the way back from the border, um, we had another flat tire. This will be our third one. And we are in Monterey trying to get another tire. So this has been very long, complicated, frustrating um, month. I've been gone a month in the United States and yeah. I was gone a month and yeah, we're in Monterey, Mexico right now, trying to find a third tire to put on the car. Um, I had a flat uh, in Texas, but of course they're from the same bad tires we already had on the car before we went to Texas. And uh, had a dead battery, had to buy a new battery in the car uh, because of the cold. It got super, super cold. And um, it killed our battery, so I had to buy another one. And then I had another flat tire, or we had a flat tire before we, bef the first flat tire was on the way to the border. And then the second flat tire was in Texas on the way back. And now here's our third one. So he's standing out in the cold while the guy gets the tire. Poor rabbit's freezing. It's probably like training is good. Yeah. It's good, you know, training and be ready for a fight. I cannot. It's. so many long stretches of road like this with these gigantic potholes. I know I've talked about this in other videos before and um, yeah even the toll roads were like this in a lot of places. Not everywhere but in way too many places and uh, because of this kind of stuff when we got to about two, two hours from our destination we ended up having a flat tire in the middle of the night um, on the side of the road. It was raining and it was very dangerous and um, he had to change the tire and we drove for a long way on a donut and it took us four and a half hours to drive two hours and uh, it was just, it was a mess and um, yeah, again, most of the roads that we've had we personally have experienced driving through many parts of Mexico uh, are really kind of bad and there are some exceptions but this one was not one of them. I, I won't go with concrete and yeah. even fix it in the road.
that car just passed there, very low car, yeah. he just passed, he tear up his, his, uh, that they were holding the oil. Oh, oil pan. The oil pan. <clears throat> just failed there. I hear the noise, and he is stuck here. Make it only with the brake when he chooses. And then it just fell, when he started, just fell, he left behind the oil pan. Oh, wow. and, he and the car cannot drive. And, and finally, he make a drive and continue. And more on the front, he don't make it go to the checkpoint. He don't make it there where you cross. He don't make it, he just stop and he start blocking. So everybody start pushing the car. And it's when he look at the bottom, oil everywhere. And the yeah. paint was where I was. I just, he left there. Uh, and that is just terrible. That ditch like That's another reason why I don't like cars that are too low, any kind of vehicle that's too low to the ground because you can hit anything and it can knock your oil pan out, you can knock your bumper off, you know, just, it's just not ideal. Yeah, yes, that's the thing I see yeah. more in this area, how far. Yeah. For the city it's good, then you're driving just there, on the round in a small low car, everything bad for gold. Here we can stand. 